Hi, big people. I'm back with another video and I am back as promised. I'm going to be swatching out all the items that I got in my 2023 Not Polished Mystery Box. I got a total of six gel polishes and um, six different... Um, and six different acrylic powders. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all these items swatched out. Give my thoughts on how they perform. Okay y'all, so these are the six colors here that I got in my mystery box. And really quick, I'm gonna give you all a up close of the products and then I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them out. The first color I'm swatching here is the OG, is OG Duo 143. And this is a really pretty pinky nude color, kinda peachy nude, okay. OG Duo 144 and this is a really beautiful purple that has like a chromey shift, a bluish chromey shift to it. Love it. Coconut cream and this is an absolutely gorgeous nude you guys. I swatched this in the last video. I'm going to swatch it again in this video but I just love this color. It's so pretty. OG 140 and this is a really beautiful neon blood orange. Really really pretty. OG187 and this is a really beautiful lilac purple color really cute and last but not least is the duo OG214 and that's frost you now this color you guys it's actually expired it's like goopy and oh so yeah this was kind of I wasn't really too happy with this in my box but I'm still swatch it out and see how it performs and then they also included the black gel liner and this is really gorgeous, really thick, really opaque, and I'm gonna be swatching it out for you guys, okay? So that is all the gel polishes here. Let's get to swatching. I like like you a lot. Ooh, okay. So these polishes are really pigmented and they have really good coverage. They're smooth, creamy to work with, opaque in one coat. I like them a lot. Okay, not polish. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure. OG Duo 140. Ooh, look at that. It's a really beautiful neon orange. It's like a neon blood orange. Really pretty. One coat coverage. Yeah, I'm loving the formula, loving the consistency of these polishes. I'm gonna go ahead and cure. OG Duo 143. Ooh. Really beautiful nude. Yeah, I really love the consistency of these polishes. Like, like I said last time, I did some nail art with one of the gel liners that I got in my mystery box last year. And I loved how it performed and it made me want to go back and get more of their products. And so that's what made me go ahead and buy the 2023 mystery box. So, yeah, that's really nice. I'm going to cure. OG Duo 144. Mm. See, this is a really pretty purple that has that kind of bluish chrome shift to it. Um... It's a little bit sheer, so you'll definitely need to go in with two coats of coverage. But really pretty purple. I think two coats to give you a real representation of what the color looks like. But this is really nice. Go ahead and cure. Next we have Coconut Cream. This is that nude that I was like obsessed with, okay? <laughs> I swatched it in my last video, but I'm going to swatch it again here. Really, really pretty. Look at that. I mean, it's just a lovely nude. Applies beautifully self levels nicely good consistency yeah, i'm loving it go ahead and cure and then we also have frost you and i did forget to mention these are full size bottles they're 15 ml bottles but frost you this is that expired color <laughs> so we'll see how it swatches out here so yeah you guys see how thick and goopy it is i mean i don't know like it applies um, yeah I'm not really too happy with this I'm gonna be honest I don't like I don't like how this applies at all it's really sad and unfortunate too because I really like this color so yeah that's unfortunate I'm almost tempted to reach out to not polish and let them know like they sent me an expired product <laughs> but um, yeah I don't know Anywho, well, this is that color. I'm going to see if it levels out at all, and then I'm going to cure. So I decided to go ahead and swatch the regular polish for this Frost You color to see if it'll give me a better coverage or better look or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and just swatch this out. 
Okay. I'm not sure if this is going to be how the gel polish, well, I'm not sure if this is how the gel polish performs, but look at that pretty blue. Yeah, that's really nice. So I'm going to let that air dry, but that's more of a representation of what that blue is going to look like, okay? And last but not least is we have this beautiful black liner, which again, these liners that uh, Not Polish has, they're really amazing, okay? And whenever you guys are working with gel liners, one of the things that I like to do is when you have all that product that's on the stem of the brush, I'll just go through and wipe all of it off. That way you don't have to worry about it dripping on you or dripping all over your space. But you do that and then you kind of swirl around the tip and that gives you just enough product to create the lines that you want. So, let's see how this is. I mean, do you guys see how pigmented it is? I just love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. I'm going to just fill this tip in. I mean, you see how pigmented it is? Yeah, this is a really cool product. Love it, love it, love it. And I'm happy that they included a staple, right? Like, you can't go wrong with a good black. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. Fill that in. I always try to do a French tip whenever I get gel liners just to see how easy it would be because I mean that's really what I would likely use them for you know so yeah this is looking pretty good to me get that beautiful nice and opaque and the other thing I want to do too is see how thin of a line you can get with these so I'm gonna on the swatch here I'm gonna just see Look at that, super thin. Make it a little bit thicker if you want. I mean, you can go really thin with this. That's really cool. So really quick, I do wanna try out the Not Polish Matte Top Coat and Glossy Top Coat. So I do have the two swatches of, I think it was cream, what's the color? Oh, coconut cream. And so on this, on this one, I've already applied a glossy top coat from some other brand but I want to apply the matte top coat on top of this one just to see how that matte is okay so let's see how it applies um, first I want to show you all the consistency the consistency of it is really nice it's of a thicker formula which I really love for most gel products that I use I prefer thicker consistencies and this is the gloss it and let's see I just I'm obsessed with how thick this is like do y'all see how thick she is like I love it love it love it but yeah let's start with the matte top coat here and I'm gonna apply it to the full nail oh nice okay it applies beautifully not mad at it it feels like you don't need a lot either um seems like a little bit goes a long way so that's really nice so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that to get that matte effect and then let's see how the glossy top coat performs yeah, it's really thick. I love how thick this is. I almost feel like because it's so thick, it would be cool for like encapsulating. Um, I feel like you wouldn't have a hard time with this top coat if you needed to encapsulate something. Yeah, this is really nice. Look at that. Gorgeous. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cure. So this is what all the gel polishes are looking like swatched out. Really, really beautiful colors. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what they're all looking like. So this here is OG Duo 144, and it has that really beautiful kind of bluish um, shift to it. Really pretty. OG Duo 143, which is this really beautiful kind of deep peachy color. OG Duo 140, which is this really beautiful neon blood orange. Frost U, and this is a really beautiful light blue with some really gorgeous hollow um, glitters in it. So unfortunately, the gel polish that I had in this, like I said, it was old, it was expired, it was goopy. That's how this swatched out. It only looks somewhat decent because I put a top coat on it. It was really lumpy and bumpy. So I ended up having to swatch it out with the regular polish. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and reach out to not polish about that because I mean, I do feel like I should be able to have like <laughs> um, a gel polish that performs the way it's supposed to. But yeah, this color is really pretty. I like, like you a lot, which is such a cute name and a really cute color. Beautiful light purple here. Coconut cream, and I absolutely love this nude, y'all. It's just, it's just gorgeous to me. And this is the Not Polished Glossy Top Coat, okay? And it is very, very shiny. So I'm excited to put that to the test and see how it performs. 
and then I do have the coconut cream again and this is what it looks like with the matte top coat so that matte is matte matte you guys and I'm gonna have the two next to each other so you guys can kind of see the difference between the two so again this is the matte top coat that's the glossy top coat and that matte is gorgeous and it feels real soft and velvety like I'm a big fan I'm loving all the gel polishes I got now I'm gonna go ahead and swatch out the acrylics I am going to use the not polished monomer they came in the mystery box I'm really excited to give their monomer a try I have not used it my go-to monomer of choice is actually the one from young nails I find that it's pretty universal and works for pretty much all acrylics um, but I've also heard really good things about this not polished one um, so I'm excited to give their monomer a go so let's see here okay oh, that's a pretty big bottle it says it's non-yellowing sculpting liquid unraveled adhesion and this is an eight ounce bottle i think this is actually bigger than the smaller bottle that young nails carry i think theirs is a six ounce bottle so this is a pretty big bottle and let's see oh it's open and ready oh it has a stopper on it that's pretty cool so it has a stopper here at the top and i think that's to prevent any spillage or leakage pretty cool I like that I love that they have that on there that's really cool nice honestly this could be used as a little cup too to <laughs> you want to sample out and do like a little mini swatch or something and it's also really cool that they have like a little snap top here so that you can control how much you're pouring out um, I do have my oh so favorite dappin dish here and I'm just gonna pour a little bit of that monomer in here Oh yeah, I love this squirt bottle. Look how easy that is. Very, very cool. Very cool. Okay, so I have that. Close that up. So right off the bat, I don't feel like the monomer is that strong. I mean, obviously it's strong, right? It smells like monomer. So these are the two monomers side by side. This is the Young Nails. Like I said, it comes in a six ounce bottle. And then the Not Polished comes in a eight ounce bottle I'm gonna just smell the two right now the the not polished monomer doesn't feel it doesn't smell too harsh or too strong it kind of reminds me of the young nails one let me smell it here okay so the young nails I mean I'm used to that smell so I can't really say okay they are slightly different like this one has the not polished has a more I would say that the not polish is just slightly stronger than the young nails but it's not really that big of a difference so smell wise I think you'd probably be okay with either one if you're super sensitive probably go with young nails if we're talking smell wise but let's talk about how the performance is okay so I'm gonna show you all the colors really quick we have black licorice which is a mauve gray color milky white which is you know beautiful milky white color <laughs> Moonlight, which is a really beautiful blue glitter. Really pretty. Purple Haze, which is a really nice light purple. Topless and Barefoot, which I think is going to be a gorgeous nude. Look at that. So cute. And then Last Love, which is a really beautiful orange. Look at that. Oof. Love that color. I'm going to go in with my Young Nails Acrylic Sculptor brush because this is the brush I use. And I do like to swatch on my stiletto swatch sticks, okay? And that's so that I can have an um, opportunity to really practice with the um, acrylics. I'm going to go in with Milky White. First, I'm going to go ahead and saturate my brush, get it ready to go. Tap off to the side here. And let's see how this acrylic picks up, okay? I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna tap one, two, three. This is how it polymerizes. So good. So far, so good. Let's see how it swatches. Ooh, nice. Okay. It's been a while since I've worked with acrylic, but so far, this is really easy to work with. Okay. Very nice. That's how it sets up. Really pretty. Let's set the next bead down. Lovely. I like that you have good control over the product. Let's see how it blends in. 
that's something I'm always curious about is how does it blend in with the other bead. I think so far so good. Beautiful. Yeah, that was an easy application. I'm gonna go ahead and let that set. Next, I'm gonna go in with topless and barefoot. And this is how it sets up. Nice. I'm gonna set it down. Yeah, their acrylics are easy to work with though. Yeah, look at that. I mean, it's really easy. Again, this is how it sets up. When you're working with acrylic, you really want to wait until it pretty much looks smooth on the surface of the bead, and then that's when you want to set it down, right? And then again, I'm going to just uh, move it down until it blends in. Bring the product on down to the tip of the brush. That yeah, looks beautiful. Lovely nude here. Look at that. Easy peasy. Probably add just another bead here at the tip. A small one here just to give it some opacity here. Yeah, beautiful though. Beautiful swatch. Next, I'm going in with black licorice. Ooh. Oh, it's a black. <gasps> you telling me I got a smoky. Oh, I love it. What? It's a smoky black acrylic. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know they made these. Okay, I just fell in love with this color even more. I thought it was a gray, but it's a smoky black. Stop. I didn't even know they made these. That is so cool. Oh, I'm in love. That is so cool. It's a smoky black acrylic, y'all. I literally, I've been getting into like smoky blacks. I just did a review on the Born Pretty rubber base coat in a smoky black. And I also have, um, the uh, Madame Glam Top Secret, which is a really beautiful smoky black gel polish. But the fact that they have this in an acrylic is so cool. Oh my gosh. How cool is this? Beautiful swatch. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to let that set. What? I'm just really shocked that they have this color. This is so cool. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I am obsessed, y'all. This is crazy. Who knew? Who knew? See, this is why it's cool to get mystery boxes, though, because it's like you get colors that you would never think to try, you know? Like, I would have never picked this color up if I was looking at it on their website because I would have, honestly, I would have thought it was gray. So it is so cool to see that it's a smoky black. Holy moly. That's so cool. All right. I'm going to go ahead and let that set. That is cool. Next, I'm going to swatch Purple Haze. And again, I want to show you guys how I'm picking up these beads, okay? All I'm doing is going into the acrylic. I'm going to tap two times and I'm patting it in one, two, three. And then I'm going to let the acrylic set. Wait till it looks like a smooth surface on the bead. And then that's when you set your bead down. Okay. Oh, cool. Hey, this purple looks like the gel polish they gave me. Oh, wait, is that what they were trying to do? Okay, look, y'all. I'm slow. I think they were trying to give acrylics and gel polishes, they kind of matched each other. Okay, now that makes sense. <laughs> Cause this actually looks like that gel polish that I just swatched. Well, that's pretty cool. Way to go, not polish. That's a cool idea. I'm getting a little messy with my swatches here, but I'm like trying to talk and do it at the same time. But here, let me let it, <laughs> let me do it the right way, okay? <laughs> You really gotta let the product set a little bit before you put it put the bead down. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, it literally looks just like that gel polish I just swatched. Lovely. Lovely. I'm here for it. Beautiful. Love it. Let that set. Last love. This is how it sets up. Really nice. It's very pigmented. You 
yeah it's really easy to work with and I feel like a little bit of product goes a long way you really don't have to do much to get it to lay really good yeah that's beautiful Then the last color we have here is Moonlight, and it's a beautiful blue glitter color, okay? And this is how this one sets up. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. All right, let's set that down. Nice. Oh, that's a pretty glitter. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Okay, not polish. I'm feeling pretty happy right now. This is how it sets up. And then this is how it says down. I mean, they're really easy to work with, I'll be honest. Like, they're good. They're good. I didn't have a good experience with... I have got some not polish powders from a beauty supply store. And I feel like it marbled. And maybe it's because I used it with the Young Nails monomer instead of the not polish monomer. Which I don't really think should matter. But um, I'm going to have to try that that acrylic again and I'm gonna try it with um, the not polished monomer and see if I see a difference but yeah these are performing beautifully you guys like I am here for this okay here for it very happy with this purchase I'm kind of tempted to go back and get another mystery box because I think they include different colors in each one so it wouldn't hurt to have some more of these what you guys think let me know if by the time this video goes up the mystery boxes if they're still available tell me if you guys want me to get another one and I can show you guys the other colors that's included in the other box but how cute is this alrighty so this is what all the, the acrylics are looking like swatched out I'm gonna go ahead and show you all what they look like up close so the first color here is last love and this is really beautiful bright vibrant neon orange and yeah y'all these are acrylics are really great and easy to work with um, next here is purple haze which looks very similar to um, that gel polish that I got from them. Yeah, this is the gel polish that they included. So I think they actually tried to create like trio sets with what they included, which was like, I love the thought process behind that. And this is what it would look like glossy, okay? And actually I didn't even show you all the orange. That's what the orange would look like glossy. Black licorice, which I am absolutely obsessed with this color, you guys. It's literally a smoky black in acrylic form. Didn't even know they made these. Um, but yeah, got this topless and barefoot. I love this nude. It's a really, really beautiful nude color, and it actually goes really well with, and it goes really well with coconut cream, which they also included. So, again, I think they really put some thought behind what they included in these mystery boxes. Um, on this one right here, um, that's what it looked like, glossy, milky white. I mean, just a really great staple to have. And that's what it would look like glossy and then this absolutely gorgeous uh blue glitter which is gorge and that is what it would look like if it was glossy and i think to go with this they may be intended for the frost that frosty color to go with it yeah y'all i'm loving it so i'm gonna see how many sets that they i guess tried to maybe create with these this here is that blood orange red so that's something that could potentially go with this right and then we got that black licorice, which I'm sure they are intending for that black to go with it. Um, and then this purple color, I'm, a, I'm sure they're intending for this to go with it. So again, it looks like they put thought behind what colors they included. Um, and these are, this is another purple color, which could easily go with these. Same with this nude, it could easily go with this right and then the milky white which is a staple so this is everything that they included i think that they put a lot of intentionality behind the colors that they included in this mystery box because you could pair these two colors together you can pair these three colors together you could pair these oranges together these blacks together these two purples again everything that's on stilettos are 
acrylics and everything that's on this short square is actually the gel polishes that came in the mystery box and then these purples like I said all three of these could go with that acrylic and then a milky white which is a staple for everybody I am in love with everything that they included um, I, they did a great job with the mystery box this year I must say I really must say that I'm very happy the intentionality behind it their products are great high quality you saw how they perform the acrylics were smooth like butter they applied lovely and the gel polishes were really nice as well and also too um, with the nude polish you can see there is a slight line of demarcation where that uh, second bead was put down but nothing too major y'all I didn't actually see that on any of the other swatches so yeah let me know have you all tried not polish do you like their brand um, last year I think I got the wrong impression of them, I guess, with how they did their mystery boxes. But this year, I'm really liking that I've taken the time to test out the products. Because I'm not going to lie, I got pretty mad last year and didn't even touch the products. They've been sitting for a year. <laughs> but um, I'm glad that I took out that one gel liner, which made me like rekindle um, revisiting the mystery boxes and trying out some of my products. And they're actually pretty high quality. So I would recommend you all try out Not Polish. They have their mystery boxes every year. I think they still currently have it going on right now. I actually checked and I thought that the mist the media mystery box was sold out but it looks like they brought it back so if you all are interested in trying some of their products this is definitely the way to do it um, their acrylics normally go for $20 a pop same with their gel polish duos they're like 15 to 18 dollars a pop so I mean I paid a hundred bucks for all of these products so yeah and then it still included the base coat top coat the pigment palette all the other stuff that was in the box so highly recommend um and let me know your thoughts on these colors the selection and the not polished brand as a whole i'm a fan thumbs up i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye